Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Domino von Crazy DIY. With this one, you can have so much fun and I'm going to show you two options. For the first option, which is like kind of like the whole thing painted, I'm going to be using this phone case. It used to be clear so you can get an idea how it uses this, is, but I'm going to be painting this with wet acrylic paint and a brush. You can start off with a white one instead of like painting a clear one. Feel free to work with whatever you have, anything works. Giving this a few coats until it's big enough. I'm going to be using this writer tip and it's easier to just paint uh, fine lines with acrylic paint. With this one, it's a pretty handy tool I think, but if you don't have it, feel free to work with two pieces of like painter's tape, one on top and one on bottom, and then just paint in between. Or you can use striping tape for nail art if you have. This also happens with painter's tape as well when you remove the tape. Sometimes you have like stuff that goes all around the line. Use the same white acrylic paint to just erase those things with a brush. Um, then I'm going to be using this round sticky labels. In half of them I'm going to paint in black. For that I am going to be getting rid of this part of the like sticker because I have to paint this in black. I couldn't find black ones in my store. If you have access to black ones, just, you know, feel free to use those. I just went ahead and painted them in black like this. Once that's done, I'm just going to be sticking them. Choose what pieces you want to go for, if you want to go for a busy phone case or not. In this one, I chose one and two because I wanted it to be simple. I'm going to be applying some gloss using this by Sculpey, using a brush, and I'm just going to cover the whole thing, giving this three coats. And this is for this one. As you can see, it's pretty simple and it looks cute because the whole thing is painted. But now I'm going to show you how to make another one that will give you plenty of options. For this one, I'm going to be using another phone case. This one is clear. It's getting like dirtier, but it's still clear enough that I can use it as a clear phone case. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to be using this black paper. I'm going to be marking my phone case, putting this upside down and then just marking all the way around it and then just cutting the shape of my phone case. I'm going to be doing this in black and white. I'm going to be using the same uh, tip that I used before, working with the white paint. And remember that I left some like stickers without paint. This is where I'm going to be using the white ones. For this one, I'm going to be using three and four. And if you change your mind and if you want to add more or just remove stickers, you can do that and pretty much customize it to the uh, piece that you like the most. And here I'm just showing you the white one. You just need uh, a Sharpie and ruler and just mark the line. Use the black stickers as you prefer. So as you can see with a clear one, you have many more Options because you can change the black to the white, add more stickers, add less stickers. You can customize it daily pretty much. And yeah, guys, these are the ideas that I want to share with you. I actually got inspired by Graveyard Girl Bunny. I love her. I think she's really fun and cool. She has a phone case like this one. I think it was last year and I wanted to give it a try because I loved it. But yeah, I just wanted to share this uh, two ideas with you. Hopefully you liked them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out more phone cases that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.